Hey guys, Troy here. Uh, well, it looks like today I'm going to start tackling these shelves and this uh, partition back here behind me. Uh, it's going to be a pretty pretty long process, probably. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to do it myself, and there's a whole bunch of bolts to take out. So uh, today's Thursday. I'm looking to get it done. Uh, you know, over the weekend. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I can knock off a big chunk of it today. I'm going to, I'm going to dedicate a couple hours to it. But well, let me show you what kind of bolts we have here. But first. We gotta break the chain to that nine to five. Okay, let's take a look at this partition first and see what we've got to deal with here. Uh, it's got a little bar right here, Phillips screw, Phillips screw, and then let me swing it around here real quick. And it looks like we got the, where is it? Right there, we got the Phillips screw on this side as well. All right, and here's another bar down here. And let's come around this side. Oh, okay, looks like it's not screwed in right there, but it is right here. Okay, and let's see. What about up top? Anywhere? Okay, there's a bracket up there. Phillips screw going in right there, and then looks like one right. Where is it? Oh, uh, there it is, right there. And then there's probably some on the other side of the shelf. Uh, I'm obviously going to remove the shelf first, but I just wanted to show you the the uh, partition. Okay, let's take a look at the shelving now. Uh, well, first let's take a look at this little uh, water water stand here. So it looks like we got bolts that need to be uh, loosened underneath the van right there. Got a little Phillips screw right there connecting that. Uh, I think that's it on that. Three of them. Oh, there's one in the back on the uh, the wheel well right back here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Shelving. Right there's a bolt going underneath. There's another one. And there's one right there in the corner. And then there's one right there. Okay, and it looks like it's actually connected to the partition. Let's see. Let's swing around the back. Okay, looking at it from the back of the van, looks like we got one Phillips screw there. Uh, I can't see any all the way down there. Uh, there's a bolt right there. There's probably going to be one down that way somewhere. There's one there. There's one there. Uh, I see one inside down back there. There's another one over there. Uh, we've got a little tripod out of the way. Oh, by the way, this is my little, <laughs> this is my little tripod setup. Like I mentioned before, it's a small little Walmart, uh, it's a Targus tripod. I just put a little, I think I call it an L clamp, but it's an L bracket. And I've just got Velcro right there and, and a piece of Velcro on the uh, back of my case on my phone. So that's what I use as a tripod. Of course, these legs extend, mm, shoot, I forget how far, I think it's four feet. I'm not positive. But, uh, you know, it comes in pretty handy. These are all my tools I've got ready to do the work. Uh, this guy has got some bolts there too. So, uh, yes, it looks like that's the project for today. Okay, guys, uh, I decided to kind of start easy here. Um, I had this little water jug uh, holder on the side here, and I decided to take that off first, just to see uh, how they how they how they uh, how they bolted it down. So um, I thought that they had they had the bolt put the bolts under the vehicle, but it looks like they drilled holes and put a little. Uh, I'm not I'm not Mr. Construction guy. I'm, I'll, you know I'll learn a lot on this process, but the little things that they put in into either wood or metal and then that way you can screw into them. I forget what the little things are called but I'm going to show you. So check it out. Okay so here's where the little water jug where you know the little stand for the water jug with the little straps to hold the like the little Gatorade jug down. Uh, so I pulled out a bolt right here down here there and then one on the back side and when you move it away of course it took a little bit of work to get it out of there but so this is what we have now.
So it looks like they dug a hole, or I mean drilled a hole, popped that in there, and then screwed in. Same thing there. One on the wheel well. And then this one they put in over here. So. All right, so we got this side open and available. Uh, now it's time to work on the big side over here. This can be fun. All righty, guys. How about we take a look at me pulling out a couple bolts? That's exciting. Let's do it. I've already loosened this one, by the way. gloves on which I will in a minute because these are uh, these are nice tender uh, computer guy hands and uh, hitting my hand up against that that's gonna draw some blood so figure I'd go this first on on camera without the without the gloves on but I'll put them back on here in a minute to protect these babies <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now I got the gloves on. So I can be a little, more, a little bit more reckless, you know. Like there's a little piece of glass right here. Uh, ah, who cares? We got the gloves on. Alright, let's get this going. Two more bolts over here, and then we can hopefully pull this piece up unless it's attached over here somewhat, somehow. Doesn't look like it, but. I'm over at a, uh, a Home Depot. Uh, Last video I made, I was at a Lowe's. This time I'm at a Home Depot, so yeah, I like to give uh, give both locations uh, their due. As a big truck's driving by. But I did go into Home Depot earlier, looking at insulation. Ah, there's nothing here. There's some foam board, but. I don't see anything. I mean, there's barely anything here. So there, I may have to do some ordering online for some of the uh, insulation. I'll have to really look into that here pretty soon. track all these make sure I don't lose anything so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna try and sell these all this uh, cabinetry uh, on Craigslist so I want to make sure I keep everything uh, you know available still but I have it of course I can't pick that up <laughs> all right let's see how this thing comes off or if it does I got the protective gloves on all right there's a little gap there yes yeah, probably gonna pull some of this flooring up but that's all right because I don't care to keep this flooring baby's in there. Well, I got that right there. Let's see. Okay, it's, it's caught on the floor in there. Which that's cool. That needs to come up anyways. Ah, there we go. Yeah, there, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. See the bottom. So far, no rust at this point. That's good, good, good. Alrighty, guys. Skip ahead to the next day. I uh, worked into the evening. I uh, had to use a flashlight to finish up the uh, removal of the partition. But now everything is removed except for a whole bunch of cabling that i got to figure out what, what that's all about. There are uh, there are like two or three or four antennas up on top. So I'm sure a lot of that's going up to the antennas. Uh, that the phone company was using 
But uh, yeah, so all the shelving's out, the partition's out. I've got to look into this flooring. It seems like the flooring is riveted down, so I'll need to look into uh, removing that. But yeah, looks like we're all done.